run with that bar, so we're gonna have to We're gonna The one we've been waiting for all day long. The one we've been waiting for all day long. The last one right here. We we got the little 29th Street Roadster. Twenty-nine Street Roadster over here in the right lane, Royce Winkler. Dial to six thirty. Got Jake Roberts left lane dial to six eighty. The nineteen forty Willies taking on the twenty-nine Street Roadster. Again, we invite all our all our outlaw gassers to come over to the winter circle pictures, get you taking picture taken surrounding the winning car. So uh, you're still here, you drive a gasser, come on over. Get in it with them. We appreciate y'all being here. What an excellent show you put on. Appreciate Brainerd Motorsports Park. Excellent facility. Excellent crew. Done a good job this weekend. We appreciate it. Time advantage, right lane, wind light's gonna be. Right lane, Royce Winkler gets the win. 39 off of 30, he was 65 on the tree. Left lane, Jake was 64 and 17 over for the loss. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you, good night. Please be careful on your way home. For you fans, if you've been drinking, let somebody else do the driving, please.
He's got a mic now. I don't know what to do with my hair. Are we yeah. kids? <laughs> what does that hair do? Yeah. All right, Wade Mooney here at Verge Motorsports, uh, Brainerd Motorsports Park, talking to Tony Helms. Tony, you came in, didn't enter any of the other classes, and um, mowed down 15 other of the finest bracket racers in the South to collect. $10,000 in four rounds. You ever done that before? Nope. Haven't done that. <laughs> so what inspired you to spend that $1,000 to get in? Uh, needed the 10000 <laughs> Well, so that was a well-placed plan, good. right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, just tell me a little bit about the motion you felt going through the rounds. Uh, the car was good. The track was great. So everything ran smooth. So it was a good night. I don't think you changed your dial all night long, did you? Uh, in the finals, I dropped it, but it was a 69 every pass. Awesome. That is very good. So if we do something like this again, we count on you to show up, or do we need to pay you to stay away so everybody else will come? No, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. We appreciate you making the ride down. Congratulations to you and your sponsor, Right Traders Nationals. So we uh, thank you very much, man.
winner in our 790 heads up class, Mr. Grady Wiggins. Of course, I know this is not your first win, but how's it feel to pull off one of the heads up deals? It feels great. Um, I'd like to thank all my parents and uh, get them performance. Wait a minute, all your parents? How many you got? Most of us have two, maybe two and a half. How many you got? I got two, sir. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, what do you attest to being so good at this deal? Um, lots of practice and uh, just repetition. Okay. So what's the plan for the uh, next couple of years? Um, get in a big car and start going rounds. All right, good deal, man. Congratulations again, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. He's a good guy. Yeah. So you work for Motor Mania or for Tony? He's my dad. Tony is? Yeah. Is he? Okay, yeah. cool. I've never met I just um, started coming with him this year. Okay. The beginning of this year. Wade Mooney again here with Birds Motorsports, Brainerd Motorsports Park. We're here with Chris Vanover, winner of our 470 door car. And Chris, uh, man, what a way to break in the new hot rod. Yeah, it took a race or two, but we're getting the hang of it now. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, I'm going to need 10% of that check over there. I, last year I used to kid about the Vanover effect when Chris would put the low down on somebody and I uh, hadn't used it all year. I brought it up earlier today and here we are, $10,000 richer. So uh, I might be heading to Pound, Virginia with you, brother. Let's go, it's short and small and you can fit in there. Short, small, and fit in there. I might need to get your wife over here because you're not a, a man of many words. I got a feeling she probably does most of the talking in the house. So come on over, tell us the real story about what's going on. Tell us your struggles and don't hit you with a good time. Don't hit you with a good time. So what do you got to say about tonight? I don't know. 
<laughs> oh my God! This, now look, you usually can't shut this woman up, and now she's gonna go with I don't know. here today <laughs> she wants to thank herself for being good luck for being here today but uh, Chris tell us about the car owner and uh, the family operation you got going and why did you switch cars after such a successful stint with the other one we made one good we can make another good and it's starting out good so buddy Collins built it it's a good car and uh, Randy's got a good motor Duggins it's a good piece same motor or all new combination. Okay, well, it uh, explains a couple of the early season struggles. So we're going to see some success like this in the dragster coming up. You know, we've never had a double. You're going to be the first? I plan on it. All right. Well, good to see you guys. Have a safe trip back to Pound, Virginia, and we appreciate it. Mooney here again, Verge Motorsports, and with our 450 winner, Mr. Travis Nelson. What do you think, brother? I don't know. You just got lucky. <laughs> I, I think it took, uh, what, six rounds, so I don't believe that was all luck. You put together some really good passes, earned a buy run there once or twice, so good job there. And tell me a little bit about your blower engine. Uh, it's a 582 with an 871 blower on it. And, uh, pretty much about it. <laughs> Two fours. And, and this is why we don't call him John Force because he yep. can't. But uh, this, I just may heard you made a remark. This is your first win with the blower motor. Yeah, just take good. a little time to get it tuned up, or yeah, I guess took a little time and a little luck to get there. What'd you used to run? Uh, I had a uh, 18 degree all aluminum 615. It Nitrous or all motor? It's all motor. It run like 50s, you know, all motor. Well, you know, back in the day when I used to bracket race, they always would talk about blower cars couldn't repeat, but uh, this year, especially in Verge, we've seen a big change in that, a lot of blower cars. Yeah, they're good. You know, when you get them right, they're good. Did you do all the tuning yourself? Did you have some assistance along the way? I've had a little assistance here and there. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, Brian Jones. <clears throat> what about your wife? Yeah, I better thank her, too. Yeah, she, she sat there for an hour and a half last night <laughs> listening to you BS, so, yeah, you better thank her big time. <laughs> Congratulations, man, and uh, look to see uh, more of this car in the winter circle. All right, thank you. Thank you. Good job, man. Good job.
Here. Hold on. All right, Wade Mooney here, Verge Motorsports, with our 450 runner-up. Got Wyatt Miles and car owner Doug Yates. Doug, uh, you guys a little bashful talking there, but he did a good job behind the wheel. Wyatt's been on a roll here lately. We went to Steel, Alabama. He's rolled. He's hit a couple of 10s and 15s here at our local track, and I couldn't think of nobody else better to put in a car. Well, I see your names on the uh, driver's side here. Did you used to drive it and yes, found somebody younger and better? Well, I drive it every weekend, but this car weekend I had a car in the 470, so I drove it, so I put white in this one. And okay. And never drove his car before today. Oh, that's awesome, man. Good job there. Uh, what happened in the final? Got down to semi. We run the semi final. I mean, uh, runner up. We run it up with him. Well, how'd he beat you? I was busy. Huh? How'd he beat you? I was busy working the staging lanes. Well, now, he didn't beat me. He beat the other guy. I know. I said, how did he beat you? Misunderstanding. <laughs> what was the times? Margin of victory. What'd you do? Did you broke out. Too much, stripe? Too much stripe? Oh, man. I think we ought to make him walk back to the trailer. What do you think? <laughs> he done good. I'm proud of him. Uh, all right. I know his daddy is. All right. Well, good job there, young man. We appreciate it. Good to see you. I hope you all run more races with we us. Will. Good uh, to see us. It's uh, kind of funny. Every race we go to, one local guy seems to get up in our regulars, you know, and uh, kick a little butt, and it was you all this weekend. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we're here with uh, Brantley Lawson, our junior eliminator champion. Thousand dollars. You ever won that much before? No. No. Hey, the car's running away from us. So, uh, tell me, have you ever won any races before? Yes, sir. How many you won? In first place. Yes, sir. That's in drag racing. That's what we consider winning. Uh, this is about my second or third. Look, he's already won so many he can't remember the count. Well, uh, you did a good job today. Well, you're one of the younger participants, but the uh, big kids didn't scare you? No. Do you, do you pay attention to who you race, or you just do your thing? I do my thing. Uh, I know your mom over there was right proud. I think I might have saw her feet leave the ground a time or two. Is she your biggest cheerleader? Sure. <laughs> sure. Anybody you want to thank there, young man? My mom and my dad. All right. Well, good job today, and uh, hope that you can join us again, run with us again, okay? Take care. All right, Wade Mooney here with Verge Motorsports talking to Gage Blevins, our runner-up in our big top eliminator for junior dragsters. What happened in the final? Man, I, you know, I just wasn't thinking right. I've done it a lot of times. I've gone red in the finals way too much, but I'm glad for him. I'm glad he won to get out there and go do that. So that's pretty awesome for him. Very cool. You know, it's everybody loves to win, but nobody likes to dominate. It's Everybody has to have their time in the sunshine, so... Uh, you're right about that. Tell me a little bit about your car and uh, your parents over there. They're 
It's 2020 McIlvain. The paint's done by Woods Auto Body. They're amazing. They do anything, and they're very good at it. And my parents, they've been amazing in this car. Couldn't ask for anything better. Well, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. We hope to see you with us again. Take care. Well, Wade Mooney here at Verge Motorsports with our Outlaw Gasser winner. And, uh, man, what a long night. Yeah. We got the motor a little bit hot, got you a little bit bleeding. And uh, <laughs> what do you think about this win? Oh, I love it. I had a lot of real close races. Did you was close down there at the top end? Oh, yeah, a bunch of times. Awesome, awesome. I know you used your mulligan a little bit early and had to go undefeated after that. Yeah. Beat the same guy twice, which is really hard to do no matter who, you, who you're running. So uh, tell us a little bit about your car here. Well, it's a 29 SX three window coupe. It's all the body is all original steel. It's got a 355 in it with a 671 blower, a nine inch Ford rear end. Me and my brother. This is the last car we built before he died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but glad you're out here in memory. Uh, that's awesome. That's a good memory. Good. I know you're thinking about it when you're going down the track. So, uh, cool. What do you think about running the Outlaw Gassers with us here at Verge? I love it. I'm ready to come to everyone. That's that's awesome, man. We appreciate y'all. Y'all put on a hell of a show, and uh, we hope to have you back many times. Good luck. Right. Uh-oh, John Walls has got a trophy for him. Let's see what we got. Man, what an awesome trophy. Take a look at it. Look at this. This is what it's all about. Thank you, John Walls, for putting this together with Jeff. And, uh, man, we hope to have you back. If you can't read the trophy here in the dark, it says Verge BMP 2023 Outlaw Gasser Association. And uh, really cool. Man, we appreciate all you guys. We got any more gasser racers? We got, Jason, come up next. We got any more drivers? Come on, guys. All y'all get a picture taken here with the winner, and then we'll do the runner-up. Well, man, did you have fun? Glad to have you guys, man. Glad to have you. We'll get you up here and get some pictures with your car. Anybody else with the Outlaw Gassers want to come get in the picture? Jake. Any of y'all, come on. Well, with the car? Oh, okay. You're gonna, we're going to put your cars together. Okay. Come on, Jake. Where you at, Jake? Come on. <laughs> All right, so a uh, little bit earlier, we talked with you briefly in the staging lanes there. 17 years old. Man, most 17 years old don't even know what this car is. Here you are having fun with your dad and driving it. What do you got to tell the world here? 
Hey, thank you all for all tuning in and watching us. We all love doing this gas racing. You know, we have a ball with it. Thank you all for supporting us. Thanks, uh, John Walls, for putting this awesome race on. Everybody else who does the Verge stuff, we're really happy to be here. And thanks, everybody, who's supporting me and in my corner. I appreciate everybody. Awesome, man. Again, I was telling you earlier, your dad said the car laid in the creek on its side. Yep. He bought it uh, many years ago. Y'all have worked on it over the years, rebuilding the body where it rusted out. And, and uh, got uh, Don Garner signature, Richard Petty, and some other stars in there. Do you, you get a little feeling when you get in there, you know, hey, this is special? Oh, it's a wild feeling. It's like just traveling back to the 60s and 70s almost. I mean, it's a feeling that can't be described almost. That's cool. What do you think about going down the track when you, you know, running inside some of these uh, other gassers? Oh, it's fun. I mean, we make it fun. You know, I mean, drag racing in general is fun, but something about, you know, some straight axle, short wheelbase car just adds to the fun and just makes it wild. Well, did you drive anything else before y'all got this finish? You've never drag raced before? I followed my dad around for about five, six years when I was little before I was able to drive, and I was his crew chief, you know, learned everything, and then one day he just put me behind the wheel and said, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. Well, well kind of like throwing you in the... Out there is the one who, taught, who helped teach me how to drive. Well, he did a pretty good job, I would say, because I know this thing just watching is not easy to handle. and. Oh, no. Of course, you know, we were talking last night, some straight axle cars, when they're going straight, they're fine, but, uh, you know, they don't have quite the durability when you start turning left and right. So you did a hell of a job and uh, survived a bunch of rounds to get here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. And once again, I want to thank all the gassers. You put on a heck of a show, and we got an award here from John Walls for your runner-up. I know you'd rather have the big one, but, uh, hey, we can't all be winners. There you go, man. Law Gasser runner-up 2023. This is a Kentucky Whiskey Barrel Barrel Stave. And it's cool, sir. And it's cool. Thank you, Jake. All right. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate all you gassers. All right, you gasser guys, one of you asked me in the stage of lanes about leaving your rock truck here overnight while you went to the motel. That trailer, that's fine. I checked with the track so you can come in the morning and get it. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Please, uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thank you, brother. Great Thank show. you. We have great show. It. Great show. You put on a great show. Y'all did great. One more thing to say. Have you seen the back of my car? Well, yeah. It says, how you like me now. That's what I got to say to everybody I raced today. <laughs> Don't be a sore winner, man. <laughs> All right, good luck, man. Yep, thanks a lot, Thank man. You. Hi, Wade Mooney here with uh, Verge Motorsports. We're doing our little final recap. I want to thank everybody for racing. The gassers put on a heck of a show. Of course, our 470 and 450 classes did well. Hold on just a minute. There was dead spots in the announcing. I was having to go put out fires. Are you good? 
All right, we'll start from the beginning. This is Wade Mooney here at Verge Motorsports doing our little recap. Man, what an awesome show. The gassers were a nice addition to us. My 450 and 470 guys showed that out as normal. And, of course, we had a great field of junior dragsters, our 790 and bracket program, as well as the 16-car high roller. Lots of top-notch racers, lots of top-notch racing. I do apologize. I know there's dead spots in the announcing. I had to go down and help out with the gasser pairings and finish up a few things. So uh, I do apologize for that. But, man, we appreciate you tuning in and hope you catch us next month.